challenge. Somebody wants me to fix a thing that'll go on their dash that'll go, you know, right here, just a door on the driver's side. That their pop will go right here. Pop is like Pepsi, Mountain Dew, you know. That'll go right here because when he goes driving around like a curve or something, it rolls across his dash or slides off into the floor. So he wants something that'll go right here that he could put his drink into easy and get it in and out. So what we're going to have to do uh, to start off with is get us some measurements. So we're going to go see how it is nine inches. So we're going to go nine inches. All right. Then we want it to be oh about five inches by five okay so i am going to cut this material right here down to that and then let's see this right here be perfect for the bottom i believe so we're going to see on that so let me get the rest of my mat and rotary cutter and all my good junk that I need, and we'll get busy on that bad baby. See how quick I am. You thought I'd gonna have to stop. No. Okay. This right here piece of material will work fine for it. So what we're gonna do the first thing is we're gonna level it up to where we have something level. So, I'm going to got this part level. Okay? So, now we want to go, we're going to go 9 inches. So, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Alright, and we're going to go a half, 4, I better go an inch, 4, uh, our seam allowance okay now then we'll put that one aside now we got this piece and we need it by five so we're gonna put this one well if I had one to go by here we go way over here in this corner let's see if we can turn this matter around there we go all right now we're going to go in this corner right here and we are going to go six. That's so that we have our seam allowance. So there we go with that. Now, and I have gotten this, and I think this one right here, oh no, that one might be too big. I'm going to go check. Get me another one out. I have a smaller one. So we're going to get it out and check it out and see if it will work better. Uh, no, this one right here will be too small because we really won't have that much seam allowance. But this one, we will have plenty of seam allowance and I'm giving plenty of room to move it. So I will go with the first one that I have gotten. Alright, I don't want to get rid of that. I want to keep that. Now we'll find me a piece, and we want to cut us out two of these. There we go. So now, we're going to cut out two of these. You know what? I wish I had, would have brought out this. I think it'd be a whole lot better. That's the reason why I fixed it back. So I could have it. <coughs> yep. But I just don't understand how come this stuff is so hard to cut. 
All right. Well, that didn't work out too well. And I ain't got my scissors. Oh. I'm not used to the having to walk a mile to get my junk. Looks like I'm going to have to rearrange it. And put my stuff right behind me whether I want to or not. Okay. Now then. We have these two going. So what I want to do now is I'm just going to take this to the sewing machine. After I change the thread in it. And I'm going to sew around this. So that I, I keep these two together. So, here I go doing that. Okay, I got the bottom of that done. And I got strings. Okay. Now, for easier purposes to do what I want to do, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to... Um, I zigzag this. So, a zigzag number five on my brother sewing machine. So, I'm going to zigzag this as well. I don't know if you can see it or not, but I figured I'd let you watch me do it. And all. And I love this sewing machine. This is a good sewing machine. It has been really good for me. And all. And anybody got one of these? They got to be happy with it. I'm really happy with it. You know. Alright, now we're gonna turn it around and go down this side. I've got a quilt starting, but I have to wait until Hubby gets some money so that I can get some batting to finish it. I don't want to put the first part on until I get all of it together so that um, I can put them on both at the same time together and all. Because sometimes I get busy on one thing and I don't, you know, I don't finish it and all. But it's a beautiful quill, I think. It's, Rick's the one to come up with all the pattern and everything. Alright, now that I have gotten this done. Now this is the next thing that I want to do. Turn it back around here. Okay. Now I want to take some Velcro. And I am going to cut the Velcro. Like right here to here. And we are going to put Velcro on it right down the middle here and I think we ought to go with the purdy side so we're going to go and we're going to do that alrighty so here we go back oh right here you know what I think? I think maybe we ought to put the Velcro right here on the sides. What do y'all think? Cover up that hip right there. Now, let's just go ahead and put it here. And all. I don't know. Let me think about it before I do it. I think I might come up with another idea. I want to check it out before I do it. Okay, this is what I have decided to do. Put me a Velcro here. Sew it down. And put me one here. So it would be easier to clip like this on it. Okay. Then take me another one. Oh, I probably should have cut that first. Down to the size I want. Yeah. We're going to cut it right about there. There we go. <clears throat> and when we have it right here like this, we go ahead and sew another one right with it like this. So that this right here is on the bottom. Okay. We're going to go like this. Let's turn it around. All right. 
because it'll slide right in there, and he can change it if he needs to. And if it don't come off, then he can pull, just pull it up, and it'll come off. So you, so you see what I'm saying? If we fix it to where, if it doesn't come out that easy, then he can just pull on it. I don't know. Let's see what we got here. Yeah. We are going to want to put it like this on there. And put this one like that on there. Yeah. That's the way we're going to want to do it. Okay. Let's sew this one right here on first. And then that way we can have some kind of a uh, thing to do it with. So I'm going to get off the... Okay, I went ahead and sewed it halfway on. So that um, it will go like this. Okay. And he can slide his drink right in there. Okay. And if he gets mad... And he pulls it up, it'll come right off. So, that's what I'm thinking. Okay, now, we need part of it to go to his dash. So, I'm going to take this one, and I think maybe what I need to do is put it on the outside, right here beside this one. And I'm going to take this one and just lay it on there because he'll take this one and glue it to the uh, dash. So I'm going to glue this one on and then we'll be back. Okay, let's cut some of these strings off. I already started cutting some of them off. But I think what I'll do is I'll leave it, the bottom of it open. And not put this on it. Because if it is laying there and it has this on it, then it I can't he can't pull it up to get it off. So this might be better for him because if it's on the dash and it's glued to the dash. And he has his drink in there. And he can't pull his drink out easy. Then he can take and open it, like I said. Hey, Mama Cat. So I think that would be the better bet to do on this right here. So I think I'm going to be happy with this for him. If he don't like it, he don't like the idea of it, and I'll, then I'll come up with something different. But I think this right here would work really great and all uh, so I'm happy with this so now he wants me to figure him out a box so we're going to get busy on that okay I figured a dash box would be about like this so I got me a box here it's a uh, King's tube cigarette thing. I think it'd be the right thing to use for it. So I had to get on my spool, and get me some more of this. And of course, it ain't never cut out straight. Never. So I'm gonna get this out of my way because this is not gonna do me no more good right now. Okay, so I want to. This kind of leveled out. Oh, I don't, I don't think we need that. About, about that much right there. Right, so I'm going to do it like this. Okay. So, now then, what I'm going to do is get my paper scissors. Don't want to cut that with my good scissors. We're going to cut down this way uh, this okay yeah I about got it right did 
it. Let's get some marker. Okay. Gotta have something that we can see. Probably a piece of chalk. I'll get both of them. If I can get it. Okay. Now then. Get it over here. Now. We're going to want two of these. So I'll probably... Let me first reach over here and get me some pins. And we're just going to slap some pins in it to keep them together. Just something to keep them together for right now. Okay. Now then. We will make sure we've got uh, stuff on enough on the... On both sides here. Okay. So. Now. We're just going to draw it out. Yes. Black works good for me. I can see it. You probably can. But I can see it. So we're just going to outline this out. Oh no. Don't do that to me. Okay. Okay. All righty. Now then, what we're going to want to do now is put ink on us. <laughs> Let's see if we can't put a couple more pins in here, you know, to hold this down. Okay. Now then, get my ruler out here. Over here on this side, there we go. What we're going to want to do is we're going to want to add an inch to this right here, down. And we're going to want to cut it right here, okay? And on this side. Oh. Can't do it that way. Gotta go over this way. <laughs> yeah, there we go. Okay. And we're going to want to cut it down this way. We're going to do it over here on this side, too. Okay. Right here. And we'll cut it down this way. Okay. Now then... Cut it down this way. Okay. Now then. The next thing I want to do. Is. Get this. And then I want to cut. I don't know I lost something. Probably my chalk. Yep. That's what it looks like. Okay. Let's see if I can tear it. I tear it a whole lot easier. Alright, we're going to put this down right here, and we are going to draw a line across here. You're like, what are you doing? Well, I'm going to show you. Make sure that I had that right there. Now, on this one, I'm just going to draw a line straight across right here. Here, right here, nope, and right here. Okay, so now then, let's get some of this stuff out of our way <coughs> and let's give her a cut out now. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to come up here and I'm going to cut right straight across up here. There we go. Now i got this piece. Let's throw it right there. And I'm going to go up here. And I'm going to cut it this way. Get rid of that. Come right down here. Yeah. 
videos yeah that way and that way Now we have these little flaps right here. Alright, now the first thing I'm going to want to do is I'm going to want, I know I left this up here, I, I'm, I'm going to leave it up there for right now. But I'm going to go and I'm going to zigzag all the way around it. Okay? And uh, then I'm going to take and I'm going to zigzag where these lines are right here. All these lines because that will help it hold to fold better. So, when I get all that done, then we'll back take a look at it. Okay, I've already sewn it from right here, just made a straight line all the way down here. I figured I would show you how I'm sewing it. So, now I'm, I'm straight lined all the way down, and now I'm going to pivot for the first time so here we go and then this way if you make you one and you can make it the same way And I'm just going to go straight down. There we go. Straight down the line. thing I want to do is I want to start it at the other side over here somewhere so I'm going to start right here in a clip right here and I'll or should I yep I think I should I think um no Let's work down a line. There we go. Won't we do that? We'll work down a line. Yeah, I think that'd be the best bet for me right now. Because I'm having to figure it out too, as we go. And I don't care to figure it out. I love to do that. Uh oh. I think I gotta stop. Yep, I ran out of bobbin. So I have got to roll some bobbin. So I'll be back after that. Okay, I'm gonna pick up at the very beginning on this line again because you can't really tell where you left off or not. So I'm just gonna go down it. Oh my goodness, slow it down. I think I forgot to change that setting. Okay, now, I'm going to pivot right here on this one. Alright, and then, I'm going to go down the other side. Boy, yeah. well, I can tell the difference in them. down this side. Go 
Och den är för. Stop. Now plum this my material. There we go. Now then. I'm going to come right here and go up this one right here where the lid is. We'll go on it, go across it. There we go. Pick it up. Now I'm going to take a gander and see what I need to do here. I don't think I really need to worry about these ends. Really, I don't. I think it's more or less the outsides of it that I really need to worry about. Because the rest of it, I'm not too too worried about it. I'm going to cut my threads off that I don't need. Alrighty. I'll meet you back at the cutting table. Okay. Now then. We have all this done. Now I'm going to set this aside. And I'm going to come down here, and I'm going to find me a piece of material that'll work. That right there will work. Okay, so because this is what I want to do. I want to take my box and sew a piece of material right here across so that we can take the flap and put it right down inside of it. So this is what we're going to do. We're going to turn it this way, and we're going to, just going to sew down this way. So, let me get that sewed, and then I'll be back. Okay, I did it twice. So now, let me get my thing out here, and I'm going to cut it right down this way. And then I can go that way, and then I have it on here. So, I mean, it's not going to hurt a thing the way it is. Because it's just a car box. Okay. So, here we go to assemble it. Okay. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to take and uh, put our Velcro down here. Put right here on the bottom. Put our Velcro right here in the middle. So, when I get this done... Then I'll be back. <laughs> yeah, she's content. <laughs> she's content. Oh. <laughs> hey, baby shoe. Okay, now the next thing we want to do is we want to work on getting these right here sewed down here. And this is where the sew line. Yeah, believe it or not, I can see it over here, but I couldn't see it over there. So, we're going to line this up here. I'm going to cut off the strings. I'm not worried about all these strings and all. And then I'm going to take it and I'm going to sew it down here. Now, this is the back because I want to still put this on the front. So, we're going to sew this down. So, let's see if we can do it. All right, we're going to take this. Oh, right here off. There we go. It's okay, Mama. You gonna come over here and sew with me, Mama? Look, let me tell you something now, Mama. I don't need you in my way. I'm gonna put a pin up here to hold it. And I'm gonna have to... Hey, Bullet, I'm getting all my animals coming to me now. <laughs> okay. Flip this up this way, and I'm going to set this down this way, take that pin out, and now I'm going to go sew it. I'm going to sew it down till I get to the bottom. There we go. Oh, I'm going to leave that down. I want to do it twice. And then I'm going to go up. And I'm going to make, see I sewed this way, and now I want to sew this way. And I hope you see what I'm talking about. I'll show you. Alrighty. That should be the end of that. Okay. There's the one on. Alright. 
Now we're going to put the other one on. Uh, I can't hardly see the one. There it is. Alright, now we'll pop it in here. Mama caught it. Alright. Now then, I see I'm going to have to put this one on this side. Do it on the opposite side. Okay. Now then. Maybe you can see. Oh, Mama. I love you, baby. I love you, baby. Okay, let's turn it around this way. And now then, I'm going to do it. Oh, I put my pressure foot down. I know. Yeah, I love you, Mama. All right. Now, let's go over to the cutting table. Let's take a gander at it. I love you, Mama. And let you see what it looks like. Can you see where the corner is? And how that one is? I think they turned out pretty good. I'm happy with it. So, now then, we want to do these now. So we're going to put this in here. And, Mama, I need my pins. Uh, better put them over here or you'll have them hid from me. And I'm going to take and put this up, put a pin in it, like that, get my corner straight. Let's try this bad baby again. Uh, yeah, yeah, there it goes. All right. All right, now I'm going to go sew this down. And I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to do the other side the same way. Put this in here like that. Turn, get my self straight there. I don't really want it tight, tight, but I do want. it to be tight enough to do. Okay, so I'm going to sew these on now, and then we'll be back. Alrighty, let's cut some of the trash off of it, that we don't need all these threads. I'm not looking for anything pretty. I'm just looking for something that will hold um, to do with just like putting on a cell phone in, um, you know, stuff like that. Something to do it. So, let's see what we got here. Alright, now. Yeah. Um, they kind of pretty well much just, like, hits right there. So, what I need to do, I guess, is I need to put more on here to lip it down. Because we have it there. And this is fine. But, let's make us a lip to go on. Let's see what we got here. Here we go. Now, uh, let's get a smaller piece. That's too big. Yeah, uh, that's right here's more what I'm looking for. So, we're going to fold this bad baby. I'm going to let you see what I'm doing. I'm just looking at it this way, like this. Now, I'm going, I'm going, okay, get up there, my cat. I'm going to just get in there and just do it to it and get her done. Turn this over this way. Let's put this on a line. Then let's cut it down. That line. Okay. Now, this is what I'm going to do with this. I'm going to 
fold out like that. Me some pins. Yep, yep, yep. Okay. Because this right here gives a little bit of stiffness to put it down in here. Like that. I hope you can see what I'm doing. To put it down in there like that. And then whatever I need to cut off up here, I can. So I'm going to sew this across this way and down this way. So then I'll be back. Okay, now to figure out where we want this to come in at. So, looks like right about there where we got that thing. Where we got the line right here where we sewed this right here down. So, I don't like these strings, but the strings ain't going to matter with this right here project. And all. Uh, if he wants it better, I will make it better. But he said it really didn't matter. So I'm going with what he said. It really doesn't matter. As long as he has one. Something to work. So I'm going to sew this right here down to this now. And what I'm going to do is just sew it flatly down right in here. So let me lay that down right there. Get me a couple of pins and throw in here. I mean, you could go deeper into detail on this box and do all the hemming and all and turn it all inside outwards and it'll work just as good. But he's not worried about it. He just wants a box to go in there to put his phone and it's not being seen. So that's what I'm doing.